What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Launchpad1412. Excited to be back with some more Madden 19 gameplay here. I got an online ranked match versus a random opponent. My opponent has the Cleveland Browns. I'm so rare I go up against the Browns in this game, and I have the Indianapolis Colts. An interesting matchup that I don't think you really see in the NFL like that or or definitely on online ranked matches. <laughs> I don't know too many people that pick the Colts or the Browns, so this is a very intriguing matchup for me. I was very excited to see that my opponent actually picked somebody besides you know the Rams, the Vikings, or the um, or the Jaguars. <laughs> them, them Vikings and them Jaguars, man. They are such a difficult team for me to beat. I'm not really sure why, but they're very difficult for me to beat for some reason. But the Rams are, are not as difficult. Just offensively, they, they could be quite challenging. But at any rate, Back to this game. My opponent started off very high. At, at one point in this game, he was 10 for 10 from the field passing. So that's something to keep in mind as you you are observing this game. And I'm just trying to figure him out at this juncture of the game. Trying to figure out what he likes to do, what he doesn't like to do. Josh Gordon is still on the Browns at this juncture. I thought he would be on the Patriots at this point, but he's still on the Browns. Toss to the right-hand side right here. I was going to say Isaiah Crowell, but... That's actually uh, Carlos Hyde. It was, it was a pretty good runner, man. Pretty decent runner. More of an up, up and down um, north-south runner versus an east-west runner. He takes off right here, tries to get the first down, and he does a couple spin moves. I don't know what it is, but when they're in the animation of making that spin, it's hard to hit stick him, man. No matter how slow uh, that player is, man, it's just, hard to, uh, it's just hard to deal with him, man, as he runs to the right. That's a good run, man. You can tell this guy is definitely a very precise and um, very, very good decision maker as he drops down. Third down and goal. He probably has a pretty good record. I should check his record. His record is probably pretty good. We sack him right there on the third goal and decides to take the field goal right here, which is a good idea. You know, field goal right here, even though he's on my two. But, you know, that, that two yards could be very hard to get in this game. This is probably the hardest Madden ever to get two yards. I'm talking about in the history of Madden. Like, you just don't know what's going to happen as on a third and ten. This year, boy, we end up getting a huge... Play right here to Marlon Mack, man, of all <laughs> our running backs, man. You know, he's usually not the running back that will catch the ball out of the backfield, at least from um, my knowledge as far as seeing him. I know he's more of a um, north-south runner, but at any rate, first down on 10, we go over the middle, get a nice pass right here. So I believe that is Ryan Grant. They ended up getting that touchdown right there, so I'll, I'll take that. First touchdown of the game, first touchdown for the Indianapolis Colts, and for me, <laughs> let's hit this ball. Let's keep this ball moving. Second down and four, we end up sacking right there. A lot of sacks in this game. I'm not really sure what it is, but my opponent's, and sometimes me, we end up getting a lot of sacks. My opponent is a wide open receiver right there. I'm not sure why, my, why, why his receiver would catch that and drop to the floor like that. I don't understand why he wouldn't just catch it and try. Unless he did that on purpose. It didn't look like he did it on purpose. He gets a beautiful spin move with the receiver that just caught that long bomb. First down to 10. Scrolls to the right just a little bit, but those to the left. We got Duke Johnson getting in on the front. I'm getting getting some yards, getting getting some catches in right hand side. He gets a wide open receiver. I'm like, my goodness, man. People are starting to figure out the holes um, in my defense this year. I, this has been the most competitive year for me for some reason. I'm not really sure what it is. I'm usually at this juncture of the game, you guys have seen my videos. Usually at this juncture in Madden, I'm, I'm usually blowing most people out. Even though I didn't show you, I haven't shown y'all most of those games. Um, back in the, you know, back when I was doing the other Maddens, but this year I'm, I'm kind of showing you guys every game that I've played. Um, my little cousin does get on to play sometime. But I'm showing you guys every game I play because I, I kind of have no choice. I don't have necessarily the time to decipher, you know, which games is the best versus which games is the worst. Um, like I used to. You know, I have three kids now, so I just got to put whatever game I'm um, coming. That's I have a string of games. And I got some exciting games coming up though. So I got some games that you guys, I, I think you guys are really, really gonna like. So definitely stay tuned to this channel if this is what you enjoy. I, I, I definitely enjoy. I'm commentating these these videos. We get a nice catch right here by Ryan Grant. I believe that's the wrong guy. Um, let me know. We go over the middle. We end up dropping it on the third and three. So it's forces to kick a field goal. And this field goal is pivotal. You know, it's the middle of the third quarter. He only has six points to my seven now, ten. So it's a low scoring game. So it's been hard for both opponents to score. So that field goal is, is major because that puts it up. That doesn't, it doesn't make it a two possession game. But instead of him being able to get three, he has to get um, five in order to take the lead. So. Bottom of the third quarter, under 30 seconds of the go into the 
to the quarters of with those to the right hand side again another one of those um holes in my well that's the same hole we threw to earlier and, he, and he's starting to find out that um that is one of the holes in my defense as he takes off right here beautiful takeoff right up the middle he could have fumbled that he has to be careful you cannot dive like that in this game you will fumble at some junction but look at this you boy he getting the user pick right here with the same guy gaithers and i really thought i was going to run this back because usually when you run straight, people just run right past you. I'm not really sure what's going on with, with that in Madden. But people usually just run right past us. We get sacked on that first down. Third down and 20. Earlier we went to MM, double M. We go to him one more time. We get a nice little catch right here. And hopefully we can find some way to get into this end zone. It's funny that I intercept my opponent um, in this game. Because I, I didn't think that was going to happen. I mean, you know, you're talking about this guy was going 10 for 10 from the field, man. He was just putting up all kinds of... Of, of wild numbers, man. <laughs> we get a nice run right here. Marlon Mack, but not nice, not nice enough of a run to get into the end zone. Toss to the right. Marlon Mack, again, I figured we try to get him in there. He has put some um, work in as far as production. But look at this. We find T.Y. Hilton on the left-hand side, man. And Hilly Hill getting that two-possession lead for us. And that was powerful right there, man. I, at this juncture of the game, it's going to be almost impossible for this guy to come back. And he doesn't throw it deep, which kind of worried me. Not necessarily worried me, but it kind of shocked me. That's a better word. It kind of shocked me because he doesn't throw it deep at this segment of the game. You know, it's under 40 seconds after going in the game. He decides to take off. He's down two possessions. Now, if he was down a touchdown, this stuff right here would make sense. But he decides to run again. Um, this is where I, I was really, really shocked. Like, man, you got to throw it, man. <laughs> you got to throw it deep. He does throw it deep right there. But we end up popping him as soon as he gets that ball. And it's not looking good for him. He's definitely um, not going to win this one. <laughs> Shout out to my opponent. Uh, much love, much respect, man. Play the outstanding game. Like I said, we're 10 for 10 at, at one point in the game. You know, uh, outstanding game. Good game play from both of us. This is good for, you know, Madden people all over the world to, to see. Madden, all, all types of Madden people that play Madden. You know, he goes he goes deep right here. He doesn't get it. He ends up quitting up before we can see the... Uh, the stats. I'm not really sure, you know, why you can't see the stats after someone quits out. Hopefully, um, they will change that next year. Your boy.